Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be creating a music streaming box that can play local music off a memory stick as well as streaming from popular services such as Spotify and Soundcloud. I actually found this idea in a great magazine called Advanced Guide to Raspberry Pi and if you want to buy one yourself then there are links in the description below. Obviously the most important component is a Raspberry Pi for this build and I will be using the Raspberry Pi 3 because of the onboard Wi-Fi however you can use any other type of Pi and just use a Wi-Fi dongle or Ethernet. Secondly I'm going to be using this amplifier and set of speakers that I found on top of my wardrobe as you do and finally a PC or Mac is required to burn the software onto a micro SD card as well as a 5 volt power source, an audio cable and a USB stick. The first step is to head over to this website that's too long to read out so just copy it from the description where you can download the Pi Music Box software needed for this project. A program such as Win32 Disk Imager or Apple Pi Baker are both fine for burning the image to a micro SD card. The next stage is basically telling the Pi which Wi-Fi network to connect to. So before ejecting the micro SD card, open it up, go into the config folder and then double click on the settings file, just like this. The section that we need to change is fairly close to the top, so scroll down until you see Wi-Fi underscore network and network underscore password. I think that's supposed to be Wi-Fi underscore password. Simply type in your Wi-Fi name and password and save the file. Now you can actually eject the SD card and plug it into the socket on the Pi. For the first boot it can be handy to connect your Raspberry Pi to a monitor to get an idea of the boot progress. Beware, for me, the Pi rebooted at the end of the first boot so yours might do the same. Nothing to worry about, everything works fine afterwards. Remember that USB stick I talked about? Well that is so you can play your own music on the music box. To use this function the USB drive has to be formatted to FAT32 which is a common file system for portable drives. You can then just put music on it as you would any normal drive. All the hardware is ready and now it's a moment of truth. Will it boot and will it work? Connecting the Pi to the peripherals is exactly the same as normal and once the power is connected and turned on the Pi should begin to boot. The boot screen however does look quite similar to Raspberry but trust me, if you can, it is the correct OS. Once the boot process has finished there will be a message at the bottom of the screen asking you to log in and telling you how to connect to it. Ignore the login request but head over to the web browser and type in www.musicbox.local. This should present you with the user interface from which you can control the music. If you click on Browse and then USB, this is where your files from the USB stick are. Just click on them and they will begin to play, like magic. To stream from services like Spotify and Soundcloud, click on Settings and then log into your account. And when you do go into Settings, you'll notice there are loads of other streaming services available. Feel free to experiment with any of these as I have yet to do so. As the Pi is so small and versatile, you could put this system anywhere as long as there are speakers. You could even make it battery powered or put it in a cool enclosure that's maybe 3D printed. So now is the time for the question that probably none of you have actually been asking. But anyway, what does this contraption sound like? And the answer is, it sounds pretty good. When it works, that is. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you have any project suggestions. I'll see you in my next video.